Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, dear friends and lecturer. Thank you for this opportunity for us to present our findings. My part is to elaborate the meaning of ethnography of communication itself as part of the many aspects of discourse analysis. My friends then, uh, Ms. Hilda and Mr. Anto, will describe and explain the journal uh, using ethnography of communication. Right. Let's uh, start with what is ethnography of communication. Theoretically, communication is a way of sharing knowledge and maintaining social relationships. And practically, communication aspects can vary according to geographical areas, social class, gender, age, level of education. So communication is actually systems and processes used to exchange or broadcast information. It is a way to build relationship with other people in a society. These systems, of course, will vary depending on geographical areas, social class, gender, age, and level of education. For example, um, uh, talking about geographical, geographical areas where the Javanese people in Java uh, would use indirect language when they want to state what they want or what they mean instead of a straightforward kind of language. In social class, if we observe, uh, the royal family will be using a different language to a peasant one. Um, for gender, uh, let's say, um, among the female, they would use softer tone of language, unlike their opposite, the male ones. And then um, the age, we can see that Younger people, especially in Indonesia, would use a more polite language when they talk, when they speak with the older one. Right, I'm moving on to, to the overview of ethnography. This study is substantially concerned with culture, linguistics, and language codes analysis and application. It is the branch of anthropology in which different cultures are studied and described. And to combine both terminologies, ethnography and communication, Delheims came up with the definition of a method in the study of culturally distinctive means and meaning of communication. So this field probes and investigates deeply the relationship between culture and how it is applied when the actors of culture interact with each other. Now, what about the focus? Ethnography of communication focuses on discovering the varied forms and functions. I should say analyzing and seeing what words, what kinds of senses, what kinds of conveyances among interlocutors of different backgrounds when they communicate, all in the specific scope of particular or specific culture or tradition in a society. Right, what about who is the ethnographer? Ethnographer, of course, uh, the researcher itself, and they uh, record discourses and describes how culture takes part in contributing meaning in a specific speech community, or otherwise I'd say people of certain ethnicity. Now, Delheim's descriptive framework is intended to be used to look at any naturally occurring speech to discover the rules for speaking, the modes of speaking, topics, message forms within particular settings and activities. So here, Himes constructed his own framework that is used to analyze the targeted discourse to see the rules for speaking. The form can be seen later in the journal that my colleagues will present and this uh, these are the frameworks of uh, Himes um, as you can see uh, it is the abbreviation of speaking S P E A K I N G S stands for scene physical setting when talk occurs cultural definition of the scene so um, what does it mean? In scene, it actually refers to the place, whether it is office, home, house of worship, 
family residential building, school, etc. Okay. And then in participants, uh, the actors in the scene and their role relationship. What does it mean? Participant indicates the people involved in the conversation. They have their specificity in terms of position for each other. For example, in a family, one is becoming the head of family or the father. One is becoming the member or the members of the family. In the case of formal setting, like in, in an office, we'll get to see who is the head of department or who are the leaders and who is the second person, etc. And those are the participants. And then act sequence. What does it mean? The relationship between what is said and how it is said. Act sequence means the interrelations between contents of the talk. So talking about the contents of the talk, how these contents are brought up straightforward in authoritative manner or indirect in inferior manner and then um, key key means the tone the manner the spirit in which the talk or silence occurs key refers to the tone and then even silence is considered contributive to the element of speaking in which it gives cultural meaning for instance many of the lowest caste people when interacting with the higher caste uh, would pose this manner of silence as to express value of respect. The next one is instrumentalities. What does it mean? Uh, as you can see, the particular channel here means the system or organization that you use to achieve your aims or when you want to communicate. The Americans recognize that the UN can be the channel for greater diplomatic activity so instrumental instrumentalities particular channel so channel is the means for example the US um, considers that UN is a place for greater diplomat diplomatic activity and then it also says instrumentalities language language here means the use of commonly accepted and recognized language among the societies. Uh, in the example that will be presented by my colleagues later, the setting takes place in India where the most accepted language is Hindi and that the particular setting people speak that language despite their varied ethnic backgrounds. Then, uh, touching the second last part of the element of speaking, uh, we have norms what, what is actually norm? Norm is a way of behaving and then it is considered normal in a particular society. We get to understand that in our Indonesian society, the elders get to be respected and that we would address them by using title when interacting and speaking with them. Norms reflect what is usually accepted and expected. And the last one, genre. It refers to how we treat our counterparts in a, in a talk. For example, in an Islamic society, it would be an insult if we maintain eye contact to a Muslim woman in a duration that can be applied towards her Westerners, female associate. Or that giving privilege to women when having a say is considered courteous in that same society. And uh, talking about the example, it says their cultural models of personhood. What does it mean to be a good Osage Indian, to be a good Anglo-American, to be a good ISU Greek member. So actually this slide highlights the examples that speaking framework may be taken into consideration when wanting to analyze their manner of communication. Let's say um, Osage Indian, um, will they use the same kind of language when they speak to the white people? Of America and will they use the same kind of language when they speak with other members of Osage Indian okay. and then uh, in communication how is communication accomplished so depending on the settings what are the patterns and forms of talk do we expect greetings from the lower social order first or the opposite among the native speakers of English, do they apply exactly the same word usages or simpler ones? 
uh, as we can see that among the natives they use different um, word usages um, when they speak among themselves and when they speak to uh, non-native speakers of English and in the last pointer emotional expression uh, it means to who should emotions be refrained from being expressed Okay. Uh, it says there, as an example of the above, what are the display rules of when and how emotion should be displayed? Um, let's say when we uh, talk to our spouses at home and when we talk to our colleagues at the office, then we would use different emotion, emotional expressions. Probably uh, we can be more open to our spouses at home than to our colleagues at the office. So that's all my presentation. I hope, um, well, I, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, the feedback from you guys, from uh, my friends, and also from the lecture. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Amio, for the, ex the, the explanation. And now I would like to continue the next discussion uh, about the article journals uh, with the title is a study on ethnography of communication a discourse analysis with Han speaking model in this term in this research we find uh, the article which has which use uh, ethnography of communication uh, the approach of ethnography of communication in this research a discourse analysis uh, use Han speaking models what is Han speaking models Han speaking models means that uh, it is would like to analyze the speaking or the communication process of someone. Now let's see the abstract. As I said before, that as uh, mentioned by the title, it is used ethnography of communication. Uh, relates with ethnography. I think you all you all here knows about ethnography itself. And then the the to analyze the communication here by using Dale Himes in late sixties. Uh, it is an active action of human human uh, way of life. It means that uh, it is about the to uh, uh, try to understand the society and culture of an ethnic group through communication process. Now, uh, the present study uh, intends to test high speaking model instead of homogeneous speech community. So, uh, in this research. It will three keywords. The first is ethnography, communication, language, and speaking models. Four, I mean. And then uh, the Himes indicate six area of the culture under the following headings. The first is speech community, speech situation, speech event, common com communicative style, and ways of speaking. As I said before, it is the communication process. It means that the discourse analysis would like to analyze the speaking of someone. In this research, uh, there are 15 participants. The 15 participants here are the teachers, but they but they have their own position or uh, or status. Nah, uh, the starting point in this research is the ethnography. Uh, the ethnographic analysis of communication conduct of community. Uh, so it means that it will, uh, so it means that it, this research would like to uh, would like to measure or analyze speaking mode in a community or in a group. Nah, as I said before, that the literature review which is used by the research is ethnography. Uh, ah, actually, it is used qualitative research design and one of the design when, uh, and the method in field of communication as well as cultural anthropology anthropology this is a model of analyzing the use of language and communicative process so it means that the research analyzes the communication process in speaking of someone and then as we know that the language or communication process is uh, related with the social linguistic so it means that also about about uh, the process of the uh, socialization of someone uh, specifically, this is the 15 participant of this research. And then, Heinz Ethnography. Uh, as uh, mentioned by the title, 
to analyze the speaking or communication process here by using Heinz uh, by using Heinz uh, the speaking model the speaking model here okay let's see <coughs> um, S means the setting and uh, scene uh, Heinz has considered that the setting refers to the time place while uh, Sen describes the environment of the situation P participants E participants mean who who uh, who, 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 who are they, the participants in this research? <laughs> and, and the purpose and goals of speech along with any outcomes. X sequence, K is key, the overall modes of manner of the speech. E instrument, uh, uh, A, and A, A, speaking, A, A instrument. I. Instrument, instrument here. Okay, the research use observation. Okay, jadi so uh, the 15 participant will be scenario uh, to 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 um, to meet and discuss something in one uh, in one in one place and define what is socially acceptable at the event and G genre type of speech that is being given. Nah. Uh, so the speaking model here, the speaking model here means that S P E A K A N G speaking has their own meaning, has their own meaning. So uh, to analyze the process here by using the word speaking model here. Okay, in this. Okay, as I said before that, the part the 15 participant will be collected and will be meet and discuss something in one place and the following the following agenda of the meeting were discussed about academic affairs like class routine, academic calendars, academic calendars, topic choice and workload distribution, two academic field work related matters, three miscellaneous. Nah, as I said mentioned before that uh, all of the participant here is a teacher, so it will be uh, relate that the discussion uh, maybe uh, discuss about uh, education field. The setting, the setting, it means that the place which is used, um, as you can say here, you can see it here. The setting was academic department of UG degree college. A university in Habra and participant as I said before that the participant uh, the participant is the participant are a group containing 15 members present now all teaching and non teaching staff are requested to express their opinion on the agenda of the meeting so oh yeah uh, I forget actually they are they are some of you yeah they are some of the participant who do not teach, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there are two person who uh, who work in the staff uh, teaching teaching, and it will be it will be explained later by Anto. And the instrument and uh, uh, participant and the ends here uh, the ends means the purpose. The conversation started with short speech of. HOD head of the department it means that there are there is someone there is uh, the participant who has status as head of the department or HOD according to seniority the members were presented their speech so uh, uh, someone the participant who uh, discuss I uh, know I mean the sequence of someone who discuss or who present at uh, do presentation it based on the seniority, the member, and also uh, so the first, the first, the first turn will be the senior, the senior and the HOD uh, profession, and act the speech act uh, in the term of interest of the speaker. Another communication speech was funny and joking. Instrument, instrument I said before because this is face to face. It means that the instrument is observation. The instrument which is used by the research is observation. 
and um, the members were meet face to face. Notes of the meeting were taken by a teacher in a note, like a meeting book. So it means that uh, they are someone who takes note. takes note about the activity in the class in the place. There a uh, norm. There were many norm of the meeting. All members were maintained it carefully. Genre, a non-teaching staff were not clearly stated his opinion. He was in hesitation, but another one of his colleagues, help, college, oh sorry, college, help, colleague, colleagues, colleagues help him. So it means that there are differentiate between how the way someone speak uh, based on their status. Uh, do you agree that there, there will be differentiate between? Uh, head of the department who speak or the teacher who speak there will be the, st the different style the different um, meaning that will be delivered and technique use the basic ethnography technique will like observation was used conducting the above discourse analysis according to Katori observation is scientific tools for data collection so technique use is mean that the data how to collect the data how to collect the data by using observation uh to to com, to compare uh, observation to observe to look to analyze uh the situation the activity about the 15 participants here okay i think that's all for me uh, it will be continued by Anto. thank you thank you very much my friends this my beloved friends mr Almio and the honorable Mangoka. And all of my friends whom I love, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now I'm going to continue the journal under the title of study on ethnography of communication. Uh, for the first, I will remind you about the members. The members for the participant, the participants are 15. And the what's that? The technique, the instruments is already present by my friends. This is that. Uh, this is the table one. Using the symbol, there are A, B, C, D, E, W, and then there are one, two, and three. From the symbol. One is the assistant professor, two is guest or part-time in a regular means, and the three is skilled or non-teaching staff, or using the symbol W. From the data above, there is number two. It's uh, Explain according to the age, according to the stage, stage, and else. For the age, there are uh, 42 years old, 39, 35, 42, and there are 59 also, 59 years old. And for the stage, M means male, and F means uh, this is the statement scenario for the A1. For the A1 means he didn't give clear cut statement against the agenda. For the A2, his statement was clear cut. For the B2 means this was the very interesting quote which broke harmonic situation of the discussion. Four. Ah, this one. C2 meant his statement was very important. He earnestly requests to all of member that kindly give a clear cut notions. And for the members, there are no statement was given by the guest professors. For the table one, his statement was for consideration of combined work 
for the W2 means he submitted to the favor of spiritual work in tradition. Now we are going to the result. Uh, the journal result said the journal clearly indicates that the importance of ethnography of communication, the communication of participants highly on dense in nature as well as high density of network was each of uh, each and every participant had been manifest their self statement. They built a sort of communication communicative bridge among the all members, and it can be assumed that all the participants are the employee of the educational institution for a long time means they will have been continued so the level of cognition is price for state the conclusion the conclusion the main purpose of the study was to examine the hymns speaking model and the result of the present study assign that the language in relation to the cultural and social sentiments which influence communication. The participants always present their demands. The group solidarity and relationship were also found. The model of speech The mode of speech and high density of network is based. And the last, the social status as well as occupational status influence with language or method of speaking means uh, the participants as well as occupational, uh, the social status, the language or mode of speaking. The step in next, the research has been followed. The first is to select a college with, with geographical, political, and cultural setting. The second, various department of the selected college and faculty members and their cultural profile with designation. And the third, several meetings or platform of dialogue exchange okay thank you very much for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh